All right, Gnostic lesson number 26, studying the science of death to avoid reincarnation. Um, picking up from where we left off last, where we talked about how bacteriophage can clone and transfer DNA. Um, before we explain the rest of how this whole thing works, it's important to understand the difference between the lytic cellular cycle of bacteriophage and the lysogenic cellular cycle. So go ahead and read the two definitions, the difference between the two, son. Go ahead. The lytic cycle involves the reproduction of viruses using a host cell to manufacture more viruses. The viruses then burst out of the cell. All right, so the lytic cycle basically means that the bacteriophage is going to inject its DNA into the host cell, and it's going to create a multitude of itself. It's going to create a, a multitude of bacteriophages replicating itself within that one host cell, and then those replications of the bacteriophage would then escape or burst away from the one host cell. It, all right, and explain the definition then of lysogenic cycle. The lysogenic cycle involves the incorporation of the viral genome into the host cell genome, infecting it from within. Right, so the lysogenic cycle means that as opposed to the lytic cycle, the lytic cycle is where it's going to create a multitude of itself within the host cell, and those multitude of phages then escape from the host cell. In the lysogenic cycle, the bacteriophage basically finesses the host cell into receiving its DNA, and then it causes the host cell to reproduce itself, for the host cell to re reproduce more host cells, carrying its DNA, carrying the, the bacteriophage's DNA, which would then later escape through a multitude of host cells. You, you, are you getting what I'm saying here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, so the lytic cycle, in the lytic cycle, there's not going to be a multitude of host cells created. There's just going to be a multitude of phages created in that one host cell. Whereas the lysogenic cycle, it's going to finesse the host cell into receiving its DNA, and it's going to cause the host cell to reproduce more host cells, which then carry the DNA of the bacteriophage. Now, I know this is like complicated, but we're going to go over this to make this make more sense. You can go on YouTube for those watching. Um, you, you can type in, you know, the difference between the lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle of bacteriophages, and it can give you a pictorial breakdown and explanation to understand this stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'm going to make sure you have this knowledge, son, to, to avoid reincarnation. You know what I'm saying? So, so, you, so that you can take the quantum path to getting the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. All right, peace, y'all. Peace.